In the dead of night, beneath a pale, moonlit sky, an unsuspecting stoner named Max found himself wandering through a desolate graveyard. Oblivious to the eerie atmosphere surrounding him, he casually smoked his joint, enjoying the peaceful solitude. Little did Max know that the graveyard held a dark secret, a secret that would soon send shivers down his spine and set his heart pounding with terror. As he exhaled a plume of smoke, the faint sound of shifting earth caught his attention. Suddenly, the ground beneath Max's feet trembled, and a low, ominous moan filled the air. To his horror, the soil began to crack and fissure as if something malevolent was clawing its way to the surface. Before he could react, decaying hands burst forth, followed by grotesque figures emerging from their graves. Zombies, long trapped in their eternal slumber, now hungered for the taste of flesh. Their vacant, lifeless eyes locked onto Max, their groans growing louder and more desperate with each passing second. Panic consumed Max as he realized the perilous situation he found himself in. Abandoning his joint, he sprinted through the graveyard, his heart racing and his adrenaline pumping. The air was thick with the stench of decay, and the unearthly moans of the pursuing undead echoed in his ears. His mind clouded with fear, Max searched for an escape route. Tombstones and mausoleums blurred past him as he desperately weaved through the maze. Like paths, but the relentless zombies driven by their insatiable hunger closed in, their decaying limbs dragging them ever closer. In a desperate attempt to elude his pursuers, Max leaped over a crumbling stone wall, landing in an adjacent park. However, the zombies showed no signs of relenting. With terrifying speed, they continued their relentless chase, their moans echoing through the night. Max's lungs burned as he pushed himself to the limit. His stoner haze replaced by an adrenaline fueled clarity. He knew that one wrong move could seal his fate, and the thought of joining the ranks of the undead drove him onward. Just as Max's hope began to waver, he spotted a dimly lit, seemingly abandoned warehouse in the distance. It offered a sliver of refuge amidst the chaos. Summoning his last reserves of strength, he sprinted towards it, the zombies close on his heels. With trembling hands, Max reached the warehouse door and threw it open, stumbling inside. Slamming the door shut, he leaned against it, gasping for breath, his heart pounding in his chest. The zombies clawed and pounded at the door, their hunger, fueled frenzy vibrating through the wood. Inside the dimly lit warehouse, Max realized he had only bought himself a momentary respite. He frantically searched for any means of escape or defense. Among the scattered debris, he found a rusted metal pipe, an unlikely weapon that might just be his salvation. Gripping the pipe tightly, Max prepared himself for a desperate struggle. As the zombies broke through the door, he swung the pipe with all his might, striking with precise, adrenaline-fueled blows. The sound of impact and bone crunching filled the air as Max fought for his life. One by one, the zombies fell, their lifeless bodies returning to their eternal rest. The warehouse grew still once more, save for Max's ragged breathing and the echoes of his harrowing encounter. Covered in dirt, sweat, and the remnants of his harrowing ordeal, Max emerged from the warehouse his spirit forever changed. He knew that the undead would forever haunt his nightmares, a reminder of the peril that lurked in the shadows. From that night onward, Max avoided graveyards and sought solace in the living world. Forever wary of the undead that lay beneath the ground, waiting to rise again. And as he retold his chilling tale to others, Cautionary whispers spread through the town, serving as a chilling reminder of the horrors that awaited those who dared disturb the realm of the dead.